I feel like Westfield's very exceptional with how they do handle safety on this campus. I think it's pretty safe. I feel pretty safe. That's the attitude of many students on college campuses across the country. Two gunmen entered a residence hall on the campus of UMass Amherst just a few weeks ago. They didn't go there. Students let them in. While no security plan is completely flawless, Director of Public Safety Tony Cassiano says there are things students can do to keep their campus community safe. The most important thing is, you know, be proactive. Um, we have updated the doors and the locks throughout the years, so that's an ongoing process. Um, number one tip is to have a plan. Uh, situational awareness, know what's going on around you, know, know your surroundings, your circumstances, know where exits are, know what's available to you if you need to. Lieutenant Bernard St. George teaches the active shooter imminent threat training course on campus. The program aims to arm faculty, staff, and students with tips and tools of what to do if they ever are faced with a threatening situation. Uh, the students who are here now, uh, they, were, they were in kindergarten and, and maybe younger when, uh, when Columbine occurred. So this has been part of their, their life growing up. They already kind of have a little bit of a handle on, on what to do. Um, the, the program that we use was, was um, developed by Houston Police Department. It's called Run, Hide, Fight. It's, a, uh, it's very simple to remember, three words, can't forget that um, in, in, a, in, a, in a scary situation. It's a little bit more empowering than just locking down and, and hoping somebody doesn't show up. It, uh, there's some decision making involved, um, some teamwork involved, and it's uh, hopefully a, a positive, uh, positive plan for, for success and survival for anybody caught in that type of situation. What can you do if you're in a threatening situation? We recommend if they're on campus to call us first. Um, 911 from a cell phone, chances are it's going to send you to state police and you're going to get transferred a few times. We're here. Our response in emergency situations is usually under two minutes. Um, please, we ask they call us first. There are no active shooter trainings currently planned for this semester. Lieutenant St. George says students and faculty members can reach out to him via email to arrange group sessions or open forums. Reporting for WSU-TV, I'm Erica Lee.